Today we are going to do a train and doing some sneaky filming. And then we're going to a tower, and then what's after that? Shibuya. Shibuya! And Pokemon. So, oh, and Pokemon. Basically, it's quite a full day of jazzing about, making stuff for BBC. But yeah, I feel quite awake now. It still doesn't seem quite real that I'm here, but that's, that's quite normal. I still can't believe we went to that warehouse last night. That was like something else. It feels like a dream. Does it feel like a dream? I mean, it's like, what the fuck was that? Place? Yeah, everyone was like, what the hell's going on? Like, why are you in this weird Chinese I realised that I am just terrible at street fighter, basically. There was more time crisis too, wasn't there? That was it. It's a shame. Shut skills. That <laughs> <laughs> fucking time crisis, pal. Well, yeah. He's I'm making shit with, up. I'm just with year 2012. Where? Aberystwyth with year 2012. Yeah. It was a momentous occasion for all involved. Is there a part there to commemorate? It should be. It should be. In fact, there's a photo on my profile page on Facebook is me immediately having completed the time crisis before I'm home. I feel like the machine was broken. Times to get a few alternatives, and then yeah, like 20 minutes has gone by, and then you have to stop because it's freezing. It's a weird life, you just basically say the same thing over and over again until somebody's happy and tells you to stop. I've never seen so many houses in a row, even in really, really deep games of SimCity, it never got this crazy. Look at that, just look how far there's not a gap. You don't see him in a natural history program, do you? <laughs> well, amateurs, Tobes, no, amateurs. Natural history program, we've got a stack of film. <laughs> yeah, just no, we're not just making a film. Just turn, turn, turn in this way. That's what Ryan Gosling looks like when he stares out a window. Is it? Yeah. He's filming right at my nose. It's a really good look. It's all right, we've all got noses, look. They do, I'll put a nice filter on it, look great. Yeah. We're at a government building in Tokyo because it's really tall, so we're going to shoot things up here. Unfortunately, it kind of looks a bit like London, but just big because it's like well grey. Snowy. Not Earl Grey, well grey. Okay, everyone's looking at us as per usual. I was doing that thing on the bridge and there's just like an old guy who's just standing there like... <laughs> You're different. <laughs> going on there and then also um, there was just a man with a sign around his neck that just said free massages yeah. I, I do love a free massage from a man on the street I'm taking a free massage Ooh, from a man yeah on the they really get in there yeah. you know they're not afraid to like other masseuses I'm trying to explain to everyone that it's not my fault but my face just suits every kind of sunglasses it's a blessing and a curse it means I spend a lot of money on sunglasses a thousand lives But one man knew his life was about to change. <laughs> and another man, his life was not going to change at all. It was going to be the same thing over and over, generally involving finding the right lens and having trouble with sound. Lights. 
Federation. So this is my life right now. We've got these two right there. And the Hall of Tokyo. Links in a really big street. Links in a street, street, street. So we've come to the most beautiful street to um, shoot some uh, links for BBC. It's amazing. It's like seriously something. Everything's like out of a Ghibli movie. Everything, every single thing. There's all these like weird little places you can go and eat. There's like a few people in there. And it looks really cool. And, but you can fit like four people in there. Look at this place. Amazing. Everything feels like a film set. And Stefan's singing. Love shine a light good, in every it? corner of our hearts. This is the shit I got up with all the time. Singing. Unchain my heart. Oh my god. They love me again. Undo the words, don't know. You don't but know I'll carry any on anyway. <laughs> so we have finished our links and whatnot for the day. So we are up, not very high, but high enough to be dancing. I'm trying a yay bizu beer, which sounds bizu sounds like kisses in French. It's very nice. It is the penultimate day here in Tokyo. We are on our way to go to Joyopolis, which is one of the big arcades here in Tokyo, to do some links. Hopefully play some video games on the sneaky sly in between doing work. And then uh, this evening we're gonna go to the robot cafe to see some moderately demented yet awesome robot dinner show. Because you know, robots are cool and everyone knows that. In it. In it. Marcel's having fun, aren't you Marcel? Yeah, he's having fun. Okay, so we just stopped in the car park for Joyopolis and there is some serious jazzy jazz going on. I mean, it does make parking more fun. <laughs> they love their jazz here. Love the jazz. It's like a ballroom. Oh, it stopped. Ooh. Do all car parks here have jazzy music in them? Is this normal? Yeah. It is. I'm feeling some emotions. I've left my cell with all the kit while I was dancing. Whoops. <laughs> We are behind the scenes. Well, in a little conference room at Joyopolis. Uh, actually seeing, I don't know, it's kind of interesting seeing, it's actually quite grey back here. A little bit. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go and see the arcade. Uh, we need to meet and greet and exchange business cards. This place is crazy. This is a roller coaster that goes around inside the arcade. That's absolute madness. There's like a... Oh, it's coming. Oh, oh, oh! It goes outside down! So we just went on the roller coaster here at Joy Office and it's really weird. There's like this like rhythm-based bit where you, before you actually go on the roller coaster part, you have to kind of use rhythm buttons to go through the next bit and then you get like a score at the end, which is kind of weird. And then you go on the roller coaster. I'm not really sure why that's a thing, but it is. And now I'm going to go and try out. They've got um, a VR suite where they've got like zero latency. There's actually um, a lot of so you can kind of go in and move around and shoot stuff. So that should be kind of fun because I do believe that VR is really going to change the way we look at arcades because like that's an experience worth having, you know? Oh wow, look at this. Um, I just came out from the VR. Can you see how red and like sweaty my face is? Oh my god, there's like sweat here, there's sweat. 
sweat under here, they're sweating some weird places. That was amazing. It's basically a zombie horde mode and you have to kind of repair the barricades and shoot the zombies. But you can walk around the room and it gives you like proximity alerts to other people and to the edge. That was so much fun. My mouth is so dry from the adrenaline and I really want there to be more like VR arcades because I just think if people who aren't gamers get to have these experiences it can only grow us as a group. Because it's, it's above and beyond. Like you think about how the Wii revolutionized gaming. It's like that huge leap again, but like 20 times bigger. Oh man, that was so good. So we've been around the arcade and we came up here and accidentally found the most beautiful spot in most of Tokyo. So we're gonna do a few little links up here just because it looks so nice. Although we are having to change the shot because Marcel thinks it looks too perfect that people will just think it's a green screen. So we're doing it again and making it a bit more wider so you can see that I'm standing by a giant window. But look, here's the evidence. I'm right here, look. Try and superimpose that. Oh, actually, probably good. Um, yeah, it's been a really fun day actually. Well, I mean, I've been working, playing, going on rides in arcade. I mean, how terrible could it have been? <coughs> I've really got the most ludicrous job in the whole world. But I Why are you filming me, Julia? You're becoming part of the vlog. Um, how excited are you by donuts? I, I figured that was why you were filming me, because you know how I feel about donuts. I do. I want to I film you eating it. Is that weird? <laughs> Tell me how it makes you feel. My mouth is actually starting to water. Eat it, Marcel. Put it in your mouth. Oh yeah, that's it. Put it in there. Slower. <laughs> is this weird? No, it's not weird at all. You ready? I told you, didn't I? Oh my god. I thought I was overreacting. <laughs> it's got chocolate inside as well. That borders on sexual. Borders on sexual. How does that turn up for in your mouth? Like there's a really disgusting party going on. That's like the filthiest party known to man, but you're but, cool with it, it's okay. But it's okay. It's okay because you invited them to your house and it's your own fault. That they're now doing sexual things to your own. I think it's Snapchat like it's like the behind the scenes. Instagram is still quite oh, publicly nice. facing, so I wouldn't put a photo, for example, like that up on Instagram because brands and things look at that. It's supposed to be a bit more kind of like a sheeny, nice version oh, of you. Know. This is the reality. We all know it's a lie. Yeah, we all know we're not shiny inside or outside. This is the reality. So that's what Snapchat's for for me. Why was that so good? Um, because it was the donut that we, you had been dreaming of since we got here and you didn't get because you'd had that weird crunchy one. No, you had two weird crunchy ones. One that was a cake. They were all not a proper donut and you kept having them and so it just built up in your mind. It was also a very good donut. But that combined with it not being that all the way through the 10 days we've been here, I think is... Um, I feel like when people say, how was Tokyo, I might mention the donut. I think donuts have been a cornerstone of your experience here in Tokyo. That microphones that don't work. So um, we're here in the robot restaurant uh, waiting lounge, which is terrifyingly colourful and listening to some music. And people are sitting on chairs like Donald Trump probably has. Literally no amendment, this is his lounge. It's just a copy of his lounge. So we're here about to see um, robot performance at the robot restaurant. I think we've come to the realisation that there aren't any actual robots here which might have a slight hindrance on what we're trying to achieve. 
and we're now in like a back seat where we can't leave and they're, they're keep staring at us. I've worked out a way of explaining what the robot restaurant is. It's basically Butlins if Butlins was a rave. Um, we also feel like quite dead after watching that and I think it's because they're all so chirpy and smiley that actually what happens is when you watch the show they actually suck the life force out of you and that's how they power all the robots. Well, it is our last day in Tokyo, and so we thought we'd go out there on the train. Apparently no one vlogs here because I am being stared at quite a substantial fashion while I'm saying this out loud, which isn't any way awkward. We are going to somewhere. We bought some tickets, and we just... <laughs> because everything else <laughs> had to be so planned and organised, this is not. And Marcel is basically absolved himself of any responsibility of organisation because he organised all the other bits, which is fair enough. So if it goes disastrously long, wrong and you never hear from us again, it's 100% my fault for bad planning. How are you doing, Marcel? I'm actually 21 years old, but this is... look what Japan's done to me. <laughs> he's so casual, look, it's like he's a native. <laughs> <laughs> He's also got a camera around his neck just to really set it off. Although to be fair, when Japanese tourists come to London, they're super touristy. So I think it's only fair if we come to Tokyo and look like tourist goons. Kichijoji, I've learned how to pronounce it, which is useful. Uh, Marcel's gone native. Sorry, we got distracted by a stormtrooper. Um, anyway, this place is really cute. We're going to go to the park, and I guess it's going to look nice. That's the point of a park, right? Right. And then we're just going to hang out here because it's nice and chill. Oh my goodness, this place is like, it feels like the Japanese San Francisco or something. It's just like really chilled out. This is quite popular with kind of young. Tokyo urban lights, whatever they're called. So it's like quite chill, it's got lots of like little shops. Uh, we're even going to investigate the park now, which looks pretty cool. I'm multitasking, look, I'm drinking coffee um, and also moving. Um, yeah. Oh, this is going to be nice. I love exploring. It's my favorite bit about travel, it's just walking around 100%. Marcel's even taking his face mask off, that's how much he's feeling it. You know what it's like when you play a video game and you go to like a new area and you're really excited because there's all these new things to see? That's what travelling is like. Yes mate. That is lovely jubbly. So we've come to this park and there is this beautiful shrine just in the middle of this lake. So here is where everyone ties their prayers or they buy one of these things and write on them all their hopes and desires. So this is the Ghibli Museum. Sadly, uh, I can't go in because you have to book tickets in advance. That's not the reason. That is the reason. I would not let you in. Shut your mouth. Uh, basically, um, oh, it's closed today anyway. Look, we couldn't have even gone even if we wanted to. Um, um, 
Yeah, you also have to like book tickets like really far in advance and we don't really know what day we're going to have off when we're here. So I'm just looking at the Totoro really sadly from a distance because I wanted to hug it and I can't. Look at him, little Totoro would rub his tummy and have a nap. Just like in the film. It seriously looks like the most fun thing ever. Oh, look, you can see the robot on the top. Just up there. So how do you feel being this close to the museum and not actually going in? Um, I feel quite sad because I really love Ghibli a lot. A lot. It's got me through some tough times, man. Some tough times. Um, but it's okay because I always have Ghibli in my heart. That's the worst out of any linked camera I've ever done. It's our last night in Tokyo and uh, we came out for... Uh, yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's... useful. Okay, that. so, right, we came out for dessert. Well, I demanded dessert and then Marcel was like, let's go to that maid dreaming place that we thought was really weird when we saw it in Akihabara. And so we did and it's so weird. Um, and now we have ears on our heads. But he's got beer, so he's all right. I'm getting some kind of dessert. I don't really know what it is. Delicious. I'm a pro. I am a pro at this. I could work here. Eat your ice cream. I'm eating it. Why not? The music is actually as happy as I am right boy, now. Boy. Twelve years in retail. Not years, five, six. It's really hard to take you seriously with bunny ears on your head. Yeah, you get it in a fancy mug. So, make up, please. Make up. Make up. Delicious, delicious. Muy, muy cute. Okay, we say this magic. Oh, this delicious. is too much for me. Go on, no, you go. You've got the ears. Go ahead. You can't have the beer. You can't have the beer until you do it. <laughs> delicious. Delicious. Yeah, delicious. Delicious. Moe. 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 Cute. Cute. Now you can have your beer. There you go. You're I allowed. You earned that beer, mate. <laughs> oh my God. At the airport, just spent a bunch of money on some stuff out of guilt for my family because I'm never around. Uh, yeah. Uh, Heading home now after 10 whole days. Uh, it's been amazing. It's been awesome. I can't believe it's finished. And uh, heartily recommend Japan to uh, heartily recommend Japan. This camera literally can't focus. Heartily recommend Japan um, for anyone who's never been here before. It's uh, a lot all at once, but in a good way. It's kind of I don't know, it's like a kaleidoscope of colour and noise with some really nice quiet bits in between, a bit like The Last of Us. So, uh, but with less summaries. So yeah, heading home. Quite excited to get back. Uh, although I have loads of work to do and I shoot two days after that I need to prepare. So, mixed bag.